Oh, also we're going to the Moor Lion, which apparently is the most iconic thing in Singapore. So, hey, let's go. Hey peeps, welcome to another video and thanks for sticking with me while I took a little break. On this day, we started our journey with our last day of waking up to the ocean and ventured off Sentosa Island to what was presumably a capsule hostel. In fact, this vlog begins our journey of exploring the most touristy things that Singapore has to offer. I personally think it's better than the last video, but I will let you be the judge of that. Positives of the capsule hostel was cleanliness and ample room to store our bags. With it being Singapore, everything in the hostel is quite cramped, but we were minutes away from the most iconic things in Singapore. My favorite part of the hostel was the quiet hours, although personally, I think 11 a.m. is a little bit late to stay quiet. Like, you couldn't even wrestle your bag, and you had to get it out of the locker, and so kind of difficult to stay quiet that long. But as you will see later, people were actually quiet, but doors and squeaky beds don't make for the best sleep. Also, I will hopefully be coming out with shorts on all the rules of Singapore, which was probably my favorite thing to film in Singapore. And these hostels were no exception to the ample rules that Singapore had to offer me. This hostel has some funny and sarcastic ways of expressing the rules, which I truly appreciated. After a little hostile life exploration, we walked down to Boat Key, not Quay apparently, and Singapore started to come alive. Also, if I get something wrong in the vlog, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. I'm just a mere human who doing mere human things. I have never seen an Alaskan king crab, but one, I did feel quite bad for these crabs because they were just piled up together. And two, they were humongous. Like, the video does not give justice to how big these crab were. Also, Mexican and Indian food, all over the place. I, who knew? I will stop talking for a minute and let you see the beauty of Singapore.
booked our first house sitting gig today and yes we are really going to miss that sunrise every morning today it actually was really beautiful colors which was so cool but we get to be actually in the city now so i kind of got tired of being so far isolated where we were on sentosa island it gave us the time to relax it was quiet and we probably wouldn't have actually explored sentosa island if we hadn't have got to live there so that was actually really nice to do but I mean, look at this, guys. This is insanity. I will give it to it. Singapore is a very nice country. Am I happy to be here? Probably. I'm happy to experience it, I guess. Not really my style, I guess. If I had lots of money, maybe it wouldn't be, <laughs> but I don't. So that's what we're doing today. We moved over to a capsule hostel. It's not really a capsule. Our next one potentially will be a more capsule style hostel, but this one is actually very, pretty nice. What I would consider one of the nicest hostels I've been to thus far. It has room for both of our bags and our storage unit, and it is clean. The bathrooms are clean besides them being wet bathrooms, which is kind of annoying because you have to wipe the toilet down every time you want to go. But I mean, that's really the least of my concerns. I was scared of like bugs and dirty sheets because that's the hostels I get to go to in life. And so this one's pretty nice. It's costing us around 88 Singaporean dollars per night, which I'll put on the screen how much USD is. I don't, not for sure at this moment, but that's what we're doing. There's a boat coming. Y'all wanna, oh, can y'all see it? I can't see. There we go. And it's actually a pretty nice day out here. I am not sweating, so that's really nice. So let's see what else we have to explore in the sea and let's get going. Honestly, we don't go into churches in Asia very often because they aren't as prevalent as other temples or mosques in the area, but this church was smack dab in the middle of the city. Kind of reminds me of New York City in a way, but very beautiful and white with stained glass windows and unique kneeling stools. I don't know what these stools are called. Let me know. Also, one thing I think was very interesting was that the women in these churches were wearing head coverings, which we don't see a lot in Western society. So do you think that this is due to the other influence of religions in the area, such as Islam or things of that nature? I think even maybe some Hindus and other people groups, other religions do wear head coverings as well. And so Maybe culture does have an impact on the unique versions of Christianity around the world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
or if you actually know how this came about. The only other place I've seen it was in Egypt, where they practice a more orthodox Christianity that presumably came from Jewish history, things of that nature. Let me know. But also, Islam is in Egypt, so maybe that's the case. So I got in trouble for filming this because I was standing on the bike path, but this bike path goes through the mall. It was pretty great. Good morning and welcome to the next day. Here's the common area of the hostel, which was absolutely tiny. Our bags and the waiting area. Also, my favorite sign slash rule is coming up. No, we don't care to hear your message on Tinder. Literally, I don't care. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I'm behind on editing and I feel like the Christmas spirit can survive. Also, this Christmas tree is made of bears. Normal lights, I wouldn't probably show you at this point, but this was so cute. folks 
just me and the general post office bear this morning. I don't know if it's a good morning because I've discovered that hostels are for young people and when you hit 33, it's not for you anymore. I tried to use earplugs, but you can just hear everything and it's not great sleep and the bathroom door is opening and everything like that. We had a conversation at one in the morning and basically decided not to stay at that hostel again. It's clean and nice, but the noise was just way too much. Too many people going in and out of that door. So. That's where we're at this morning. I didn't sleep well the night before, and honestly, the reality of my travel yesterday was crying in the middle of a mall because I was just so tired and exhausted. Then having another night of not sleeping is not the best, but hopefully tonight we'll be in an apartment and be able to sleep better. I wanted to give you all a morning update as cheerfully as I could and we're gonna go try to explore a little more Singapore. It is raining outside, but we think we found underground tunnel to a mall that will get us to the Merlion faster. So, let's go try that. Oh, also we're going to the Merlion, which apparently is the most iconic thing in Singapore. So, yay, let's go. Now, we get an underpass. Yes, I cut my finger. This is what we need, folks. This is what we need this morning. Oh yeah. Oh, this speeds us up. I just thought some of the underground tunnel things were interesting to show from the accessible walkways to the facts and history of Singapore. I actually learned some important things about the land I was visiting and I appreciate that I'm able to do that without paying lots of money to learn those things. But just on a casual walk, I get to learn and I love that. Next, we head to the Merlion, seeing some interesting statues and artwork along the way. Also, a Lego house of the Fullerton Hotel that was commissioned for a very large sum of money. I'm not for sure how large it was, but uh, yeah. that water up there that's the lion honestly the merlion was kind of anticlimactic in the daytime however in the coming vlogs we go back at night and see the light show so subscribe to see it in literally a different light <laughs> Because it was early weekend day and raining, the city was very quiet, which I quite enjoyed, but it was a huge disappointment that none of the hawker stalls were open. We were going to try to find some cheap food, but alas, we just microwaved some stuff up at the hostel. Unfortunate. Also, sleeping pigeons. I've never seen so many in my life.
To end the vlog, I wanted to show you the clip of Little India because we were staying in nice apartments. We're house sitting and it was a stark contrast to this area. I love the more authentic life of people that may not have a lot. So I don't show these things as an expose, but more of real culture and real places where people actually live because not everybody's rich in Singapore and Singapore can so easily be this land where just people have tons of money, but that's just not the case for everybody there. And so I posit that this is more important than anything else that I can show you. This is the reason why I love to travel is to see the real places and walk around and see these things. So I think it's important to show you and allow you to gain a grasp on what the world really is. And I love that. And that's why I travel.